What's up? Hey, what's up? A mother and father in Texas have had their two-year-old daughter taken away because after they put her to sleep nice and safely, they smoked a joint. So this two-year-old child was taken away from her loving parents and given to a foster mother who has now murdered that two-year-old. That's just fucked up. As if it wasn't bad enough that you took the kid away because they smoked one joint. You gave the child to a dysfunctional family who now has murdered that child. And I don't understand, who murders a two-year-old? Why, why did you sign up to be a foster mother if you can't handle being a mother to the point where you murder a child? And apparently this foster care service in Texas hasn't been doing background checks on their foster parents. So basically, you're taking this child away from loving parents who were raising her perfectly fine, they just like to smoke weed once in a while, and gave that child to foster parents who you don't even fucking know because you didn't bother to do background checks. So you gave that child to random strangers. How is that better than being with parents that make sure she's safe before they smoke weed? That's fucked up. So you're sending kids to random strangers. That's great. So what, some kid's gonna meet their new foster daddy and it's just gonna be like, oh, hey, I'm your new foster daddy. You're gonna have a great time here. Now, legally, I do have to tell you I'm a convicted sex offender. But I promise not to touch you. <laughs> You're not taking kids away from parents who have a couple beers after they put their kids to sleep? No, that's perfectly fine. But these people made sure their kid was tucked away safe before they smoked a joint, and now they're suffering for it. But the thing that really pisses me off the most about this story is that if weed was legal, it would have been prevented. This story should be a prime example of why weed should be legalized. I'll just put it this way. Cigarettes are legal, and secondhand cigarette smoke alone kills thousands of people a year. Something like 40,000 people a year that don't even smoke cigarettes die because of cigarette smoke. And cigarettes are legal. And alcohol is legal, and something like 70,000 people in the U.S. alone die because of alcohol related incidents. And I'm not saying that if you drink beer and smoke cigarettes you're a bad person. I'm just saying beer and cigarettes cause death. And now 150 million people worldwide smoke weed and zero people a year die because of weed related incidents. Zero people in the history of mankind have died because of weed related incidents. Hmm. Hmm. So I wonder which one should be legal, huh? I wonder which one should be legal. I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with marijuana. And I feel really bad for this mother and father that had their two-year-old child taken away and murdered because they smoked a joint. Because weed isn't legal, their child was murdered. And because that foster mom is a psycho bitch. But still. It all comes down to their kid being taken away from them. And whoever made the decision to have this child taken away because these parents smoked a joint, I hope you feel really shitty about yourself, and I hope you learn to change your way of thinking. I guarantee if Canada and the United States legalized weed that only zero more people would die.